Well, hey, Salem youth and families. My name is Luke Corthus. I'm the youth and young adult pastor here at Salem, which means that I get the opportunity to work with Salem students who are in sixth grade all the way up through 12th grade. Um, I love my job and I love the opportunity that I have to be able to walk with students as they grow in their faith and in their relationships with others. Um, many of you have asked, what is Salem Youth Ministry? That's a great question. Um, here at Salem Youth, we strive to uh, create a safe space for students to connect with God and with others, um, to grow in their faith and to grow in their relationships with others and to go out into their schools, into their everyday life, reflecting the light of Jesus in everything that they do. Here at Salem, we strive to um, create these spaces, to create, uh, to fulfill that mission by um, having amazing adult volunteers who are a part of our youth ministry, who invest in the lives of our students, um, and creating fun experiences that they want to bring their friends to, to be a part of what we're doing here at Salem Youth. So as we draw to this fall, I wanted to share with you a little bit about how we are going to make fall ministry here, fall 2020 ministry here happen in the midst of a pandemic. Um, because many of you guys are wondering, how are we going to do youth group here at Salem Covenant Church? We are going to be offering a hybrid option. So if you are not quite ready to join us in the building, we are going to be offering an online option for youth group. Um, this will be provided every week via email um, where students will be able to go online, watch the lesson, and hear about all the things that are happening with Salem Youth. Um, and then they will have a resource guide, whether you do it as a family, individually, or with you know friends, whatever you might be doing, um, you can work through the small group questions uh, on your own at home. If you feel comfortable, um, we are welcoming people here into the church as well for youth group, and we're really excited about this option um, for our students for fall 2020. We really want to make sure that we do this safely. So some of those ways that we're going to do that safely is encouraging all students, um, actually requiring all students, whether they're on campus, uh, on the property, or in the building, to be wearing a mask. Uh, we ask that students are socially distanced from one another, at least six feet, um, and we are encouraging good hygiene. So that means wash our hands regularly and using hand sanitizer when available. So when you enter the church on a Wednesday night, you'll find a check-in table, whether here in the narthex or just outside um, in the awning, where you'll be able to check in. This is for middle school students and high school students. We need to make sure that we know who is on our property, um, and so we'll have a check-in table, especially that first night. If we don't have your information, we want to try to capture as much as possible so that we can make sure that you have all the information that you need each and every week here at Salem Youth. After that, you'll be directed, the middle schoolers uh, will be heading to the backyard and be spending quite a bit of time outside as much as possible um, before they go to the fellowship hall which is located right over here in the right in the narthex here uh, where they'll be doing their large group and then small group experiences. We're really going to be focusing on keeping our small groups together so that the amount of people interacting with each other is minimized that it's just our small groups that will be interacting with one another. For high school students, we're going to be downstairs here in the youth room. And so you'll check in at the front desk, whether it's uh, in the narthex or outside, and then head downstairs to your small group room where you'll be uh, watching the lesson together and then discussing it as a small group. After that, the last half of the night is going to be spent outside playing games, being able to connect socially distant, of course. Um, many of you have wondered how, like, what is the, the lessons or the curriculum? What do they learn here on a Wednesday night? And that's a great question. Um, we really focus our curriculum when we're choosing our curriculum. We really focus on biblically uh, uh, based curriculum um, that really uh, ties into what these students are dealing with on a daily basis. Issues like friends and comparison. What does the Bible mean for me today? You know, family issues. All of these things that are relevant topics for our students are what we dive into in our large group sessions. And then in our small groups, they have the opportunity to relate what the Bible says about these things to their own lives and what it means for them um, today. And so we love this opportunity that we have in small groups to really dive deeper into what the Bible says about real issues that they're dealing with every single day. Hey, I just want to say thank you to all of you for your support of Salem Covenant Youth Ministry. Um, this is definitely an interesting journey that we're all on. Um, and I am reminded of our trip to uh, Ecuador um, just a few years back. And um, the phrase that came up quite often while we were there was joyful and flexible. Joyful and flexible. That's the mindset that I want to have as we enter this fall. Um, that we're joyful and flexible, whatever is thrown our way. 
Um, thank you for your support. We are looking forward to being able to have your students here on campus. And I just think it's going to be a great opportunity, whether on campus or online, for your student to grow in their faith this fall. Thank you.